Hello everybody, uh, today we are going to go through uh, the steps to create a very simple landing page um, but it is still a very good looking landing page which, which is this one and um, after watching this video you will know how to create this uh, th this page in WP plus X very easily so let's get started uh, by analyzing the, the template here as you can see that we have uh, a headline here a subheadline here and a form is here so it is very simple now I go to uh, WP plus uh, user here then uh, you can um, oh by the way you can see that this this page has a an image background so we can do that too so simply go to here and we drag the elements we need to use in uh, into the page so for example as I said that we have uh, a text element here then another text element here and then a form element is here so that's it so we drag here paragraph 1 2 and the form that's, that's all we need to do now we start with the styling so uh, simply enter the text here I will enter the text as in the image uh, this is where the headline goes this is where the goes and uh, we want to make it h1 heading 1 make center and if you want to increase the size simply click on size here and select the size you want to use so for example you want a very 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 big uh, heading so use this one okay but I will select the six so it will uh, stay on one line so now we go ahead to style this subheadline and okay this is where the subhead goes very simple this subhead rows and we center it again and increase the font size a bit something like that and now we go to the form and as you can see that in the form we have two fields name and email and the number of fields uh, depends on uh, your autoresponder uh, the the code you you use in your autoresponder and it uh, it doesn't depend on WP plus X so uh, for example you have MailChimp so you go to MailChimp get the code and go, click on the form container edit icon here and simply paste your form code inside here so right now I have my form with only one field only so that is good and uh, if you want to have two fields or more fields simply go to your autoresponder and get the form code and put it in this box so uh, for example you see uh, the box here is quite big so we uh, click on style of the form and click on style 2 so we have a little bigger uh, input box so uh, we may change the placeholder here your email and you also you may want to change the icon use the icon here into uh, an envelope so we search straight envelope okay something like that and click outside and you see that we have the envelope I can hear so now we start uh, adding the the button here so simply click on the edit icon of the button and you see the edit menu appears so the text says click here and you can uh, have the icon here or you can remove it so I uh, simply I save it here I leave it here now we need to change the background color of the button to pink 
So we'll go to style. We switch to style to none. And a color plain. So you see that the color, uh, the background color of the button is gone. And with the background, so a pink color. Don't worry uh, if you see this, we will fix it. You can uh, choose the color here, or you can go to this panel to choose a for, for more colors. So for example, I choose this. And the text of the button I want to be white. White. Okay, you see no change, don't worry. Now we go to advanced here. And in the inner selector view, just type in button. And you see that we have the pink color button here. And also you see that the button is quite big here. So we just increase uh, the button padding. I go going to style, padding, so increase padding top to 30 pixel, padding bottom to 30 pixel, something like that. And if you want to increase the font size, text size, then you can put it here, something like that, 30. So uh, we now have a basic structure of the page setup. Now let's save page simple landing page something like that click on save as page now i view my page and sure enough we have uh, we have this admin bar cover the 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 head, headline here and you can fix that by adding margin to the row so you hover the cursor on uh, the row here and click on edit this row icon and we can simply go to star add some margin so for example i want uh, to have uh, margin top like um 100 pixel something like that and you can see that the box moves down so i save it go to this page go back to my page reload and sure enough, we have the box here. Now the next step is to add the background image. So adding background image is very simple. I simply go to settings here, go to style, background, click on image, and click this icon to pick an image. And I have an image here. So picture of the forest and use this image and you don't see the background image here but on the when you preview on the page you should see that and we set it to no repeat and size make sure you choose cover and if you want to have uh, an overlay color like in the in this image you see that it has a uh, quite opaque uh, overlay color then you can set it here select the color and also select the opacity I want to make it 50% something like that and now I save the page now I reload the page and sure enough you see the background image appear and you can adjust the opacity of the background image you can increase or decrease it so for example I want uh, to decrease it to 30 something like that and save as page preview you see it is a bit uh, lighter and if you want to make these this take white you can simply go to the pencil, the edit icon of the background here, and go to style. You have option to choose the text color here. Click on here, select here, select the color, and I can also do that with the background. 
subheadline. Save as page. Go to page reload. As you see, the text is now white. And if you see the the button is quite big, you can simply decrease its color is is uh, padding. And you notice here uh, there is a little um, some icons here, so don't worry about that. So we simply click on this edit icon. That's it, and save as page. I reload the page. You can see those icon disappear. So that is how you can simply create a landing page very quickly with WP with X. So if you have any question, just please let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.